Welcome to Train the Trainer, Learn to Lead PD. This training is designed for trainers, instructional coaches, digital learning specialists, or anyone leading your school or district professional development. In order for adults to get the most out of professional learning, trainings need to be easy to follow, which means they are organized and connected to a clear learning objective. Teachers have accumulated a wealth of life experience and knowledge. This knowledge needs to be brought into training. Everyone learns better when they're doing, not sitting and getting. To create behavioral change, Teachers need to leave feeling inspired and equipped with the skills they need to implement the ideas. A learn by doing experience that is rooted in research and teachers' expertise increases the quantity and quality of usage because teachers leave inspired with actionable ideas. By the end of this training, you will be able to locate the Seesaw for Schools PD resource page to access kit materials and their various components, identify best practices for engaging interactive trainings, and also learn ways to provide ongoing support using Seesaw throughout the year. First up, free PD kits. All the PD kits we will explore in this training are designed to be given live, either in person or virtually. They promote exploration, reflection, and application. To access the free Seesaw for Schools Train the Trainer resources, go to web.seesaw.me forward slash Seesaw for Schools PD and click on Resources for Trainers. Here you will find all the free PD kits. They are broken down into Get Started Sessions and Go Deeper Sessions. Click on the session title to access the free PD kit of your choice. For this training, I will show you the resources for the Get Started PD kit. Each kit landing page has the session learning objectives, audience, and all the materials you will need to successfully deliver a Seesaw for Schools training. The facilitator's guides provides the trainer with step-by-step -step instructions and slide-by-slide -slide speaker notes to help them successfully deliver the PD to their staff, whether virtual or in person. These are meant as a guide to ensure all points are covered for each topic. You as the facilitator have the option to copy and edit the facilitator's guide to ensure specific language is included that addresses the needs in your specific district. Next, we have created presentation decks that can be copied and adjusted to meet the needs of your school. Each presentation slide deck follows a similar layout. We start by activating background knowledge with a hook and then provide research to support the learning outcomes. Each presentation is broken into sections. Each section teaches a skill or concept and then allows for live demonstration followed by an exploration task by the participants. We have also created participant handouts for every session, which highlights key learnings from the session and includes an exit ticket to leave participants with an actionable next step. They leave with one handy dandy paper with those key actionable ideas. And finally, FAQs. We know that some questions may arise during trainings. During exploration time, facilitators circulate an instructional strategy where you walk around and check in with people. When questions arise, the facilitators have this FAQ sheet at their fingertips so they can answer questions and troubleshoot any issues. We prioritize the FAQs so that they represent the most common questions that arise first. If you are delivering these sessions virtually, a lot of these questions come in through the chat. Make sure you are monitoring and using the exploration time to address these questions. Now it's your time to explore. 
Pause the video now. Go to the Seesaw for Schools PD resource page. Select the PD kit to review. Check out the slide deck, facilitator's guide, and any additional resources. Make a copy of a kit you would like to try. When exploring, you may have discovered that our resources and PDs will follow a consistent format, not only in content, but in aesthetics and branding. This is critical because when facilitators and participants know what to expect when a training follows a predictable format, it allows them to use their brain power to focus on the content. There's a clearly defined pathway. There are the core getting started sessions, then deepen implementation mix and match sessions so schools can meet their objectives. And guess what? The core getting started pathways parallels the trainings we have on our web.seesaw.me forward slash training page. We will explore this page later in the training. In efforts to ensure that common issues are addressed, we have resources that you can use to proactively support teachers, families, and students as they use Seesaw. For instance, for the Get Students and Families Started Kit, we provide additional lesson plans, activities, tips, and handouts. Here is a section of the Family Engagement Kit. It reviews how teachers can invite families with links to tutorials, and when teachers click on those buttons, they have access to the resources they need to make it happen. Let's take a closer look at the handout for families. In this resource for families, we are very explicit that families use the family app, not the class app, one of our most common family issues. The goal of all this is to set facilitators and participants up for success by designing interactive trainings and equipping facilitators to support everyone, no matter their experience with Seesaw. Next, let's explore our training pathway. The skills that are included in the training pathways build on one another. The learning is scaffolded allowing Seesaw implementation to happen in an incremental and strategic way. The training pathway provides you with an at-a-glance overview of each training session. The pathway contains the specific audience for the session and learning outcomes, along with the length and format available for that session. As previously mentioned, our training pathway is broken down into Get Started Sessions and Go Deeper Sessions. The Get Started Sessions are designed to get teachers up and going on Seesaw. They cover basic Seesaw tools and skills such as posting to the journal, creating activities, assigning activities, and getting students and families started. The Go Deeper sessions are designed for staff who have mastered the basics of Seesaw and want to deepen learning with Seesaw. These sessions include topics like accessibility, family engagement, voice, assessment, and multidimensional learning. When delivering these sessions, be sure to take a little more time to prepare as they are focused on different pedagogies and research that requires more in-depth knowledge. For example, if you are delivering deep in learning with MDL, it is important to understand multidimensional learning and the research behind its impact. Now it's your turn to explore the training pathway. Pause the video now. Take a look at the training pathway. Think about your district's goals or needs for Seesaw professional development and determine which training would be best suited for your staff. Plan for implementation and delivery of these sessions. Next, we will discuss some best practices for professional development, whether you are delivering the training in person or virtually. Delivering engaging and practical PD takes careful planning. Take the time to plan and prepare for your sessions to ensure success. Our first tip is to take the time to live demo in an actual Seesaw classroom. After going through the slides, 
walk teachers through all the steps that have been covered in the slides so that they can experience the tools in action. This is particularly important for the Get Started sessions where participants are new to Seesaw. PD sessions are broken down into parts. This allows natural stopping points for questions, discussion, and to check for understanding. Be sure to leave time for questions at the end. Reference the FAQ guide or visit help.csi.me to answer questions. Successful training sessions occur when a welcoming and supportive environment has been created. The following things help to create this space. Have music playing when attendees enter. Greet participants and make small chat with them as they are getting settled. If virtual, have participants unmute and share or engage in the chat. Use people's names. This can be done in person or virtually. Here are more tips to keep in mind. Take your time. Slow down and try not to go too fast. Although you have a script to follow, try to make it natural. Add your own personality. Show your passion for Seesaw and connect with your audience. Here are some additional resources to further support your staff in implementing Seesaw. On our Resources for Teachers page, you will find a link to our free training site, Get Started Guides, and Planning Guides to help your staff with implementation of Seesaw. Click on Free Training to access our free training site. On our free training site, you can access on-demand playlists on various topics that will support your staff in learning how to use Seesaw. All videos are short trainings that can be used throughout the year to quickly and easily provide your staff with more information about Seesaw tools. On our resources for administrators site, you will find a tutorial on how to use the admin dashboard, information and resources about setup, end of the year closeout with Seesaw, and more. All of the great resources we have mentioned in this training are located at the bottom of the Resources for Administrators page. You have the Get Students Started Kit, Family Engagement Kit, and also a link to the on-demand YouTube playlist of free trainings. This is a great page to bookmark for future reference. You did it! You mastered how to access Seesaw PD kits and training resources, how to engage participants in interactive trainings, and how to continually support staff in using Seesaw. Thanks for learning with us today. See you soon here at Seesaw.